What's up, my people? This is Jay Spice Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Friday the 13th reboot. And it is a 2009 slash movie that was directed by Marcus Nispel. I don't know how to say his last name. And it was written by Damien Shannon and Mark Swift. And it stars Jared Padalecki, Daniel Vandenbaker, Aaron Yu, Amanda Rigetti, Travis Van Winkle, and Derek Mears. So basically, the production behind this movie is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake was huge. I haven't seen it yet. I will watch it. I might watch it later, though, or some other time. But it was huge, so they wanted to make a Friday the 13th remake similar. And it was originally supposed to be an origin story, but they changed it to be a reimagining of the first four movies, like, they take different elements from the first four movies and combine them all together, and it was written by the guys who did Freddy vs. Jason, and, yeah, so it's not really a remake, it's a origin story, or, it's a reboot, so, basically, the plot of this movie is that there's these group of college students, and they go hang out at this cabin, and Jason goes after them, and there's also this guy who is looking, played by Jerry Padalecki, who's looking for his sister who went missing, because her friend got killed by Jason in the beginning of the movie. So, we're going to start off with the good. I really like this movie. I don't love it, but really like it. I liked it more than I thought I would this time. Um, the beginning, best beginning of the entire series. Um... Because they set up all these characters, and you think, hey, these guys are going to last the whole movie, right? Nope, they all die. Right away. In, like, the first 23 minutes. Um, and then they had, like, a little part that was the ending of part one right away. Um, there was the really good kills. The whole movie has really good kills. I mean, they're not very creative, but, like, the gore behind them and the tension, really good. Jason is amazing. Um, he's more realistic. You know, he uses like bow and arrows and places bear traps. He, I like how they had it so that they explained how Jason teleports. He uses like these huge tunnels they dug underneath Camp Crystal Lake, so that's how he gets every. That's how he gets everywhere so fast. Um, the characters, I know. If you know who Drum Dums is, the horror reviewer, he said that the characters were like super bad, or were like super bad type characters, and that it didn't really work. But I feel like it works for a modern Friday the 13th, because if you still want the teenagers, like the same kind of characters, like teenagers who love sex and drugs, you gotta update it a little. So they made it a super bad style, and I thought it actually worked. Like, it made the movie funnier. Um, there is some decent suspenseful scenes. Um, Jared Padalecki was a good lead, and there's a couple other good characters, like, I think my favorite is the stoner dude, who's played by Aaron Yu, the Asian guy, pretty sure he's the very first Asian to be in Friday the 13th, like the series, I'm pretty sure, oh wait, no, because there is the Asian girl in part 8, never mind, but, um, also, I guess that's it for the positive. Oh, and there's a really good douchebag. Like, he's such a douchebag, it's almost unrealistic. Which I don't really like. But the dude's good at acting. Um, the bad. There's this one redneck character that I feel like didn't really fit. Like, he was entertaining for a little, and then he was just kind of creepy. Um, he didn't really fit in the movie. They have this concept that Jason, like, takes Jerry Pedalik, he sits for hostage, because she looks like Jason's mom. It was a cool idea, but it wasn't really explored because they didn't show that much of her. Um, there's too much nudity. That sounds weird, right? It's like, why would you have a problem with seeing boobs? Um, it's just kind of distracting, you know? Like, Michael Bay always focuses on stuff like that and Transformers and stuff. He produced the movie. He walked out. He walked out of the movie 
he produced it too, which is funny. He walked out of it because there was too much nudity. And it doesn't try that much different. You know, like sometimes, like towards the ending, I was like, oh, that's from part two, that's from part three. And it just felt repetitive. I mean, that's the thing that's kind of bad. It just takes the first four movies. I kind of like it. I kind of don't. So, overall, I would give the Friday the 13th reboot an 8 out of 10. It's good. It's really good, but it's got a couple flaws to take away from it. <coughs> so, I'm going to see you again with the ranking of the entire series so I can finally take this out. So, this is Jay Spice Reviews, and I'm saying bye. Bye.